What's up, everybody? Jason here for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Brand new release today, guys. 2023 Bowman Baseball Jumbo 8-Box Case Break Packaging number 2 sold out. So this one sold out before number 1, guys. Number 1 is tied into a pack filler. Uh, but number 2 sold out straight up. And uh, to help sell it out straight up, we had uh, one team that we gave away, the Blue Jays, to one of the last three teams sold. So these are the last three teams sold today, guys. Steven got the Braves, Kenbaugh got the Tigers, and then Ryan got the Rangers. So, of course, we're going to randomize those three names. Number one on the randomizer gets the Blue Jays. We're $180 value for free just for buying in, guys, and then we can rip. So let's click dice roll. Let's roll it. And it is a four and a three for seven times, guys. Seven times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And Steven Flat staying at the top. There you go. Four and a three, seven times. So there you go, Steven. You were the first one to buy a team. You won the free team. So, of course, that's a little giveaway there. So, let's uh, copy and paste this. And let's get that roll in there. Look okay, at guys. A lot of these last four teams remaining were actually pretty good teams, honestly. They had a good mix of prospects and rookies. So regardless though you guys, even though only one of you three got an extra team, all of you guys have some pretty solid teams in this. Now of course Bowman of course is a little bit of a little bit of a longer, heavier break. So obviously I'm gonna do my best to try to get this done in a timely fashion and, and of course just make sure I don't miss anything. But the good thing of course is making sure that all the prospects, all the rookies, uh, paper first will be shipping. The only thing that's not going to be shipping is uh, paper veterans and, of course, just vets in general. But all crumbs will be shipping. All Bowman paper and rookie paper will be shipping. Everything else is, of course, going to be donated. So if we do miss anything, the sorting team already has a top load list for X amount of players that we're sleeping and top loading. Of course, everything else, of course, like I said will be sorted out accordingly. So what I'm going to do here, guys, of course, is uh, I'm going to probably go through the box normally for the first box or two, and then after that I'll kind of kind of speed rip where we'll kind of uh, skim through the paper, worry about the chrome, and, of course, the numbered cards, the autographs, etc. And then, of course, like I said, the shipping team knows, like, Drew Jones to sleeve and top load all paper, all chromes, and... A couple other names of course that we have on that list. So don't worry guys. Everything will be safe and secure. Uh for what is that about for what are you talking about? Um Paul for the the Drew Jones bounty that people have? Who put that who put up that bounty again? Was that David Adams? Yeah, Mike, I did see what you did say. There is, like, some new color parallels. Like, I think Lunar is uh, is the chrome, and then Green Grass is, like, a paper or something like that. I'd assume you probably want to send it to them now, because I don't know how long that bounty is going to be lasting for, right? They specifically said, like, a, sp a specific date left or no? I guess that bounty is for whenever it gets pulled. Also, I'm going to rip the first four boxes, and then we'll go through the four hits, four box hits. Like I said, if you guys sell out that filler for Pikachu number one by 2 o'clock or 2.15, by the time I'm done with this, I can definitely rip the next case as well, guys. Alright, guys, this is Pikachu number two. Number one, of course, is still tied into a little pack filler. But we are pretty close to selling that one out as well. I didn't really actually get that bounty. Does, do you guys know the details on that real bounty? Like, what does it mean by million dollar lifetime? Like, are you going to get a million dollars in your lifetime or, or what? Or are you getting a million in prizes? 
so what time? You, uh, if you pick the million, you have to wait for him to make the Hall of Fame. But otherwise, you can sell it to them right now for 200k. And so they're telling you you can get up to a million dollars if you win. If you win, but th that's not even guaranteed. It's not guaranteed. That's why they have to wait 20 years, risk. probably. Yeah, exactly. It's crazy. Or you can pay 200,000. You get 200 cash. Yeah, correct. That's, I'd probably take the 200,000 in cash. Dude, it's not even question. Because there's, there's no, no guarantee they be making the Hall of Fame. Yeah, there's no risk. And so, so what? Do they get to keep the card? For 20 years then, until they make the Hall of Fame, or yeah, I guess I mean you or, take that risk, it, or you can sell it for whatever you can get for it. Jesus, that's kind of that's it's, weird. it's interesting. Yeah, it is interesting. I yeah. guess. So do you guys hear that? So if you take the million, you're not gonna get paid out a million dollars until he makes the Hall of Fame. Which I've never heard of that before, which is kind of cool, I guess. Or you can take the lump sum of two hundred thousand dollars for the card, cash, I assume. What would you guys do? I don't feel like people want to wait twenty years. There's no even guarantee I'll be alive tomorrow, right? And obviously, two hundred thousand is a lot for a kid, of course, that still hasn't even played in the MLB, but. You figure if this guy's legit, seems a little, little, little on the low. I feel like there's been a lot more Bowman Chrome prospects that have sold for more than two hundred thousand as a first super fractor. I mean, Jason Dominguez super fractor sold for like four hundred thousand. Of course, yeah, no, I get that, Josh, but that's a big risk, though, right? I mean. You don't get anything for the card now. You get me though? Like that's the one thing. I wish you would still get like 200,000 no matter what. Like if, I guess I'd have to reread it I guess. But it's like if you got 200,000 now but if he makes the Hall of Fame in X amount of years, right? Whatever, then we'll give you the rest of the 800,000. Then, okay, maybe, maybe I do that. But there's no guarantee at all, right? I mean, at least I, I, at least I would think about it like that. All right, give me two hundred thousand now. If he makes the Hall of Fame, we have a written contract that you're gonna pay me out an extra eight hundred thousand. It's like, okay, cool. But yeah, you're right. If he makes the Hall of Fame, that card is definitely worth more than a million dollars. That's crazy. That's an interesting bounty. Also, hope you're doing well, Josh. I see you just got the Cardinals in a picker team not too long ago. All right, guys. So, like I said, I'm going to rip the first four, and then we'll go through the next four. True. You could do that too, Mike. That would actually be interesting. Sell like a stake of it. Like I don't, I don't know if I want this. I don't know if I want to be part of this anymore, right? And uh, sell your stake in the card. That that actually is interesting too. I'm just saying that was kind of an interesting bounty because when people think of, when people read it, the headlines, it's like they're paying out a million right now. But obviously they're not. Because even my wife was like, "What? A million dollars? Is this kid like the next like?" I was like, "No, I don't." I was like, "I don't think it's that simple." And so obviously. Evan fully explained it to me, but I, everybody's headlines is like, oh, let's pull the million dollar card, but it's not really worth a million right now, right? They're probably valuing it at 200000 but they're willing to pay out a million dollars if, of course, he makes it. So I see a lot of people, of course, I see a lot of people, of course, that never even broke Bowman in their life are like, Let's rip Bowman. Let's pull the million dollar card. Yeah, I've been doing well, man. Just ripping some Bowman today. All right, guys. So again, I'll uh, go through, of course, 
the hits like this for the first box or two, just to kind of get familiar with the product. But then, after that, we're gonna we're gonna try to fly through at least the paper. And then, of course, like I said, the shipping team knows who to ship, who to top load, or yeah, who to ship, who to top load. You know, throw sleeves on, etc. So. But I, I do like the design so far. It does look pretty nice. I'm going to move this out of the way. It's kind of in my way. I feel like I don't have enough room. It was a smart bounty because it protects them to a certain extent. Yeah. And it got people talking about it. It got yep. people excited. It was, it was a good idea. All right, Daniel Susak to one eighty nine. Also, these cards right here look pretty awesome. Imagine they can make this like a super fractor. But like, don't turn it into a super fractor. Just put like the super fractor parallel on it. Adley Rutschman, keep it black. That should be sweet, dude. There's one of those, uh, what, are they, what were these called again? Lunar, Lunar something? Spencer Jones? And Ben Brown is to start us off for the Chicago Cubs to four ninety nine. So yeah, the list that we got, guys, to sleeve and top load, I believe, was Drew Jones, Justin Crawford, Eduardo Julian, uh, Cam Collier, and Spencer Jones. So of course, if I miss any of those guys, like in a paper or something like that, don't worry. The shipping team knows about those guys. To so sleeve and top load, and then I guess it will ship out what we ship out. I'm gonna grab this stack over here right to my right. This is the second half of the stack. And then we'll go left to right like normal. We have Andy Pages, Bowman Scouts Top 100. Devison De Los Santos to 125. Ezekiel Tovar, rookie to 50. Wasn't Ezekiel Tovar a big time prospect a few years back? Oh, you mean like the autographs, Ryan? Uh, I was getting a little nervous there too for a second. I was like, what are you talking about? Got screwed? For sure, the bounty is definitely driving up. Well, 
Yeah, it's driving up prices, if anything, but it's just more people are ripping it right now, right? So I guess that would drive up the prices in general. The Los Santos to 250 I do like the colors this year. I think they do really pop. And we have a Juan Carrella for the Yankees. Yankees, of course, was Matt Smith. All right, so there's the three autos. I saw Michael Harris. He's like fucking awesome, dude. Is there any autographs with those cars like that? I hope there is. Sign it like in gold ink like that. That'd be so sweet. So from left to right now, like normal. We said I'm gonna start trying to skim through the paper and then just worry about the chrome and the autos and stuff like that. Wilbur Sanchez. And for the Cubs, Moises Belesteros. Cubs off to a good start so far. Justin Crawford, Bowman Invicta, Invicta, sorry. Drew Jones, Chrome, and Cam Collar. Nice. This is one of the nicer prospects there. To 150, a little shimmer. This is the Cincinnati Reds. Mark. There you go, man. We got a Gunnar Henderson out of 50 gold. Baltimore Orioles, Brian Peoples. Louis Tan Hilakuni to 299. Pink paper. Kevin Gomez to 
And another bill of stereo, so that's the 299 speckle. Samil De La Rosa to 250. That's for the St. Louis Cardinals. Cardinals, that's Eric. Two boxes down, two more to go. A prospect there that's a uh, Roderick Arias. Christian Vaquero. And Lazard Lazardo. Or Lazaro, sorry. Montes. Seattle Mariners, that's gonna mark. Santos, the 250, getting a little bit teased here for the Diamondbacks. Okay, we're getting a lot of him. Only base of Drew so far. Mark Vientos, rookie, 2499. Santos, dude, he got so much of this guy so far. And Spencer Jones. That, of course, is the Yankee Spencer Jones. I think I just steved up something of his right now. Yeah. So, Yankees with that one. That's Matt Smith.
And then Jace Avina to four ninety nine. Brewers, Mark to say. out of 50 that is a rookie of the year favorites very nice one there and that's a rookie Adley Rutschman going to Brian Peebles and the Orioles solid man Continue on. Last box here. Xavier Isaac to four ninety nine. Phillies. I'm going to add him cover me. And we got a Daniel Gilarte to 499 for the Pirates. This last half stack here. And Caden Donna to 150 for the Angels. Angels is Stephen Carney. Mike Trout to four ninety nine.
York today. Alright, so so far we've got 13 autos it looks like. So we got an extra auto in a box somewhere, right? Three autos, four boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So yeah, I think that Spencer Jones might have been one, the extra one. Alright, also too, guys, I got like five orders. Looks like that filler is now down to eight left. Uh, if you guys want to sell that filler out. And then, of course, the contenders filler is at uh, 24 left. So, again, good chance, of course, that I just uh, squeeze in one more case with you guys. And it's that pack filler is down to eight left. So, let's rip the next four. So, it'll take me about an hour. I'm on like the 32 minute mark right here, so. I had to do a randomizer first and all that, so I figured it takes an hour. So I should be done here right around 2 o'clock. So if we get all that filler in the next 30, 40 minutes, then I'll do that filler. We'll do the break, and then might be a little after 3 that I get done, but it wouldn't be too far off. And then Joe can take over, and then we got two cases in, and then he has more than enough time to kill off a couple more cases. So that contender's optic. Fillers, so we can do at least a contenders optic today or two. You know, and anything else, of course, you guys want to sell out. Just know, of course, you know, obviously with Bowman, it's going to be mainly Bowman today. That doesn't mean we can't break anything out. So you guys hold the power, of course, to break something else if you guys want. So. Don't forget that.
All right, guys, cool. So there's the next four right here, guys. Good luck. Here we go. Nice Jackson Holiday there. I heard he got promoted to uh, to a better uh, minor league, right? Carlos George. And we have George Burgos to three ninety nine. And Lazardo or Lazaro Montes. Nice one there to two ninety nine speckle autograph for the Mariners. Mark with that one. Padres, Eric. Cam Collar. Luis Garcia to four ninety nine. Tatis to Jefferson Rojas, nice atomic to 100. Signed J. Rojas. Cubs having a good break. Oh, Jim. That should be their third auto already, I believe. All right, next box, guys.
Dylan George. And another Nick here for the Padres. Gonna Eric. Looks to two fifty this time. Yeah, I feel like this case has had a lot of repeats so far. Aponte. Give us like three Jones, Drew Jones, and we'll take it, right? <laughs> or at least the owner of the Diamondbacks will take it. But yeah, hopefully, not every case is like that, but it usually is like a pattern, honestly, with Bowman. Also, too, these cards are legit. These look so sick. And the new guitarist with the ranges there. Alright, so this should have two autos on this side here, guys. Christian Serta to 299. Justin Crawford to 499 for the Phillies. This guy before too. Brewers Mark. auto because like to have to sign that a gazillion times it's wild Colorado Rockies there Stephen Flat nice Gunnar Henderson there Cam Collar. <laughs> yeah, for real. So yeah, guys, let's sell out the filler for Pikachu number, Pikachu number one, guys. Six left. If we sell it up by the time I'm done here, I can break number one, and then we're two cases in before Joe gets here. Ooh, that looks really nice. To 125, Ricardo Bettis. Cool little design there.
Cardinals there, Nolan Gorman. Jonathan Mejia. And we got a uh, Martinez to four ninety nine. Maroshan Hendrick. Maroshan Hendrick. And nice auto there. Dodgers, Benny Garrett. Buy a case, Ryan. I can rip it for you later today. I'll be on Instagram in an hour. Let's do it. Person case. Jacob Berry. Turner. Nice one there to three ninety nine, and then Ryan Clifford. I really like the new colors here, though. JT Ginn. I don't think we pulled a JT Ginn auto yet, so I'll look this up right now. What the hell, man? These top ones are all defective, bro. Xavier Isaac for the Tampa Bay Rays. That's a Prone Prospect Purple Refractor Auto. And Tampa Bay Rays, that is Brandon. Mets for JT. Yeah, I guess JT Ginn is not part of this set per se in, uh, wait, no? Hold on. Why isn't he popping up here? Do they not have this dude here? Oh, they don't have the... They don't actually have the, those, uh... Bowman Factory. Let me see. Hold on. Oh, 
Hmm. Let's see a uh, group break checklist then. Group break checklist. I'm sure they have it up by now, right? Group break. Let's see. I need... Group break team checklist. There we go. They don't have JT again on their checklist either. Alright, well, Group Break Checklist doesn't have this dude either. Well, it looks like they don't have any of the Bowman Factory, honestly. So, yeah, we'll go by current team that they're currently on. And I think Mike Tower, of course, did that for us. Oh, wait, hold on. Maybe I just spelled it wrong. Hold on. No. I did not. And, uh, yeah, JT Ginn. Yeah, for the Midland Rockhounds, double A affiliates. So I guess he was drafted by the Mets in the second round, but currently must have been traded and stuff like that now. So, of course, current team, guys, just because, of course, like I said, there's no checklist for that. But, yeah, uh, currently uh, Midland Rockhound, which is a double A affiliate for the A's, so... We'll give that to the A's, which, again, I don't think it's a crazy, crazy card, so. But thank you, though, Mike. I'm just surprised that they don't have these guys in the checklist at all. All right. Let's kill off the last box here, guys. So again, a lot of repeats, but again, every case is different. That could have just been this case. So, hopefully the next one we do is not the same in a sense. Yulber Herrera to 399 for the uh, Minnesota Twins. Yeah, I think it is a bonus, but you would figure that it have, like, at least their names. You know, maybe they don't have to have the team checklist because, obviously, it's, like, a not an official, like, card in the sense of, like, by team, but at least have the name in there. Ryan Clifford. Could just been this case, Ryan, honestly. Every case is totally different, dude. Gabriel Moreno, rookie to four ninety nine for the Blue Jays. Steven with that. Whoa, what is that? That looks really nice. Alejandro Osuna to seventy five for the Texas Rangers. Young kid out of Mexico. Very nice. Born in 2002. Texas. Put that one to Rangers. Rangers right here. Man, this card is awesome, dude. Josh Chung. Jigba to 75. Autograph there for the Pirates. Chat with that one.
I don't know, actually. They literally have the same name, don't they? Let's see, usually they have, like, Bowman facts. Aha! Yes. Up close. Acquired in the Jameis and Talion trade with the Yankees. One-time U of Arkansas commit. Younger brother, Jackson, is set multiple receiving records at Ohio State. So, it is. I kind of like those, like, up close kind of facts. Yeah, where do you think he's going to go? He's pretty good. <laughs> I don't know. I'm more and more convinced the Eagles are going to draft Bijan or if they can trade up a couple picks to get uh, to get the dude from Georgia that had those off-the-field issues, Jalen. I'm getting more and more convinced. They get Bijan, man. I mean, obviously, some people might think it's a little high for for a, ten, a number ten overall, but that dude is a playmaker, man. And having him on our offense is gonna be crazy. Drop Batty. And Luis Angel Acuna. With a Moises Ballesteros to 125. Alright guys, well there you go. So we did not get a Drew Jones, unfortunately. But we did get a lot of other nice prospects. And I think the one of the better autograph was that Adley Rutschman, I believe. Alright, so quick little uh, recap there. There's a base, of course that goes to the A's. Xavier Isaac color, Ryan Clifford color. All right, Brito, Rojas, uh, Lazaro, Montes, which I feel like is a top prospect as well. Of course, we got that Adley Rutschman. That was a pretty big one there, right? Bowen, Spencer Jones is a top prospect. La Rosa, Blaseros, and then Ezekiel Tovar gold to 50. But very nice, guys. Uh, appreciate it, guys. Uh, like I said, the next Bowman was in a pack filler. Uh, last time I checked was in single digits. It is at six left. If you guys sell that out in the next 10, 15 minutes, guys, I can easily break uh, Bowman Pikachu number one for you guys, and we can get that second case going. So appreciate it, folks. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.